Hello everyone, welcome back to our SwiftUI Crash Course series. And today we are going to learn about how to create alerts in SwiftUI. Alerts are a great way to communicate important information or gather user input in your iOS apps. So let's dive in and see how easy it is to implement alerts in SwiftUI. So we have divided our video in four parts. First part will be to show alert with title. And then secondly, we'll jump into how to show alerts with title as well as message. Third, we will see how to add custom actions button in SwiftUI, in alerts, sorry. And fourth, we will see how we can add a text field and take user inputs using alerts. So let's jump into our first part, which is alert with title. So on my screen, you can see I already have my project set up and a alert demo view created. And currently I just have a text, hello world. And on the canvas, you can see the hello world text in the center. So let's remove this text and add a button here so that once we click on this button, we will show the alert. I also have a state variable created which will handle the presentation of the alert. So once we change this value, it's presented to true, alert should be visible. And once we set it to false, alert should be hidden. Okay. So let's just add a button here really quick. All right, so we have written the code to change the is presented to true or false, depending on its current value. And we have set the button title to show title. Okay, so now we have uh, completed the setup of the button. <coughs> now we need to add alert once we click on this button. So let's add alert really quick. So for adding an alert, we can use dot alert modifier. And here we have three to four options, which is like title key is presented and actions. So let's just add it for title. We'll say this is the title. For is presented, we will just pass the state variable which we created. We need to pass it as a binding variable. So we will add a dollar sign and write down is presented. For actions, we don't need anything. So we will just leave it empty for now. All right, so we have a button. And on click of this button, we are changing the value of is presented. Then we have our dot alert modifier. And this dot alert modifier is dependent on is presented binding variable. So whenever this value will change, whenever this is presented will change, alert will be visible or alert will be hidden based on the state of this is presented variable. So in the right hand side in the canvas, let's just zoom a little bit. Okay. Let's just change it to show alert rather than title. Okay. So once I click on this show alert, you'll see this is the title alert has uh, appeared. And by default, we have an OK button here. And once we tap on it, it automatically dismisses. So this was the first way where we only had one title and uh, uh, is presented state variable, which manages the presentation of the alert on the screen. Now let's see the second way, which is title and message. So this will show alert with title and message and a default button. So we have a title. Let's just see how we can also add a message to it. So I will start typing alert again. And this time we can see that we also have one with parameter named message. So let's select this one really quick. First of all, we'll provide the title. So let's say this is the title for is presented. Uh, we will pass the is presented binding variable just like we did before. For actions, again, we will just leave it empty. And for message, we will write a text. And this will say, this is the message. Okay. All right, let's just comment down this one. So now we have an alert with a title, a binding variable, 
and a message okay now once we tap on it you'll see we have a title as well as a message with the default button which says okay and once we tap on this okay the alert dismisses now let's come to the third way which is custom actions button in alerts so we currently saw that we have a okay button which appears automatically once we present an alert and once we tap on it uh, the button dismisses what if we wanted to provide a custom button and a custom title inside our alerts so let's see it through our code how can we achieve this so for achieving this inside our actions we just need to add a button and here we can pass the button title let's say submit and for actions we can do any action that we want on click of this button let's say i just want to print submit button tapped so now once we click on this show alert you'll see that the default title which was okay has changed to submit now and once i click on this submit uh, let me open my console you will see submit button tapped has printed here okay so now we are able to edit the button title and add our custom command on tap of this button we can also provide different roles of the buttons so here you will see that we have a role parameter and inside the role we have different types like cancel and destructive so the button that you were seeing previously the ok button which was appearing by default was actually a cancel button so when we provide role as cancel inside the alert then the pop-up dismisses on tap of this button that is the default behavior of uh, cancel button role in alerts once we make it destructive as it says a role that indicates a destructive button so let's see how this works so now that i have assigned the role to destructive and i click on show alert you'll see that the button has changed its color to red Let's say you want some operation that is very critical for the user. So you want to show it with a red button. So that user know that on tap of this something uh, destructive can happen. Like uh, cancel order or uh, delete items from cart. Something like these functionalities can be uh, added using this destructive button. Okay. Now we have seen that how can we add a button and once we add a destructive button then the cancel button will automatically appear because we cannot have only one destructive button we also need to have a cancel button. So cancel button is added by default by alerts in SwiftUI. If you wanted to have more buttons you can just copy paste it and have more buttons that will work too. Okay, And for this role you can change it to none and it, this will be in plain blue colors okay and let's change it to okay so this is how you can add multiple action buttons inside the alert now let's look into our last way which is alert with text field so alerts can not only be important to show critical information to users but we can also use alerts to take inputs from the user. So let's see how we can add a text field inside our alert and how to read data from it. So currently we have a button. Now on top of it let's try to add a text field here. For text field we need to provide a title. So let's say input here and for a binding text let's just declare a state variable here. By default it will be empty and we will bind it here with text field input text okay our preview is reloading so now once we click on alert you will see we have our text field inside it with all the custom buttons that we added and now we can take any user input from here so whatever we write it here this value will get stored inside this input text and then we can use this input text within our code. 
let's just try to print this input text on top of the submit button. So here we will just write print input text. And now once I click on this show alert, let's just open our console too. And if I type input text here and I click on submit, you'll see that whatever that I entered is printed here in the console. So I hope you understood the concepts of showing alerts to the user and we discussed about four ways through which we can uh, show alerts. So I hope you understood the all the four steps and if you have any doubts please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Also if you haven't liked or subscribed to the, uh, subscribed to the channel yet please do like and subscribe. It keeps me motivated. Alright so that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in next one. Thank you.